Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about the introduction of the CSS grid. So now we will try to start designing the layout for the CSS grid. So here I am creating a new two files. That is nothing but grid layout dot html. And here I am creating another file grid layout dot CSS. So these two are the files which we will be right now working out. So these are the two files we will be working. So now we have created this one, right? So let's take the HTML boilerplate. Uh, here I will be having one container. Same like the flex container, we will be having one container. And here we will be having item. So I will be taking item dot item hyphen dollar. Dollar means it will take up to the six and i want to take six items so let's try to take it yeah so these are the six items so which i will be having as a grid items one two three four five six and here let's try to add the let's try to add the add the content in each and every one so first one is the first dot orange i will take some colors here orange and the second one is second dot green i will take green and here third one i will be taking as something like blue and here what i can do another one is or otherwise we can take it as violet okay and here we will be taking it as pink anything so any colors we can take it and the fifth one i will be taking it as a blue blue and the last one i will be taking it as a brown what are the colors you want you can take it so these are the items which i will be having let's try to see the output how it will look like so these are the things which it will look like now let's write the css for this one so here i will be writing link and href is nothing but uh, for grid layout.css so this is the css file for the container this is our container i will take with around 1000 pixel and i will be having a background color something like hash e okay i want to show it right so the next one what i will be trying to have is the margin so i will try to keep the margin auto and i will keep some 30 pixels so that it will come little bit down let's try to see how it will look like i try to see the output yeah so this is how actually the output should look like orange green these all things now these are the grid items we need to place these all the items grid items like this so for displaying these all the things as a grid item what we need to do is just we need to make it as display grid that's it so if i if we make this display grid that's it so these all will become grid items right now nothing the output has not been changed anything why because because like the unlike the flex items so if you mention the display flex everything will come side by side right but display grid it will not come side by side so then after displaying after making this container as a grid we need to tell the items how many rows and how many columns we need to form with the grid so right now i want to have two rows okay so two rows so two rows means i need to mention that i want to have two rows so we, how can i mention is so grid iphone template iphone rows so this by using this one i can mention like this so i need to have two rows right so two rows means i need to mention the height of the each row so first one should be something like 150 pixel and the second one should be of 150 pixel so now two rows will be prepared if you try to see here <clears throat> we got the two rows so one is 150 pixel and another one is 150 pixel now we are having a two rows so other three items are like this right now we need to mention the columns also how many columns i need to have let's say that i want to have columns in such a way that three columns we need to have three columns then what i need to do again i need to mention here for mentioning the columns grid hyphen template hyphen columns <coughs> so here i can mention is 150 pixel again 150 pixel and again 150 pixel so each column should be around 150 pixel one pixel like this now if you mention it here see we are able to design a grid here so now another thing what i want to do is so let's fill this color uh, fill these boxes with color then we can understand it right so if you want to fill this color with uh, color screen so you let's take the item okay i am taking the item let's give padding of 20 pixel or something like this for each item and font size 
something like I can give 30 pixel so color I want to make it as white so these are the things now I can write for each one the color something like item hyphen 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are the items right so I can take it as 2 3 4 5 and 6 and here in this one what I can do background color so for the first one background color so it is an orange right so orange red I can give it as something like orange red <clears throat> and the another one what I can do is background color I want to mention for the second item so for the second item what is this one green right so okay fine let's go into this one background color mm, yellow green okay so we have some predefined colors I am trying to give those colors so the third item is <clears throat> violet so we can take uh, blue violet and here I can have another one is in background color so here we can have so, so pale violet red like this pink color it is pink color so first one blue item 5 is blue background color royal blue I can mention it as a royal blue and the last item is brown color so I can mention it as golden like this so that's it so these are the colors which i am trying to mention it if you see here see so we have mentioned the grid color so we are able to we have successfully built the grid <coughs> so this is how so now the rows the, there are it is having two rows which is defined by using this grid iphone template iphone rows and another one is the columns these are having three columns one two and three and three columns we have mentioned it using grid iphone template iphone columns like 150 pixel 150 pixel 150 pixel like this so now we have mentioned we have created a grid with two rows and three columns now if you go to the inspect element in the chrome or in the firefox so if you go to the container so here in the inspect element you will be able to see that it is showing it as a grid so this one is a grid now if you click on this one you will be able to see <coughs> the grid lines for this one so one two three four and one two so these are the grid lines it is able to show if you go into this layout thing and here you will be able to see the layout div container so here we are able to see the layout for this one so this is the grid layout entire container is this one so it is taking only one part of the thing 150 pixel so this is how we can define the grid thing so here we will be able to see the grid layout and each items so like this it will be having and if you want to mention the gap between this one gutter space so you can also mention so first one is the grid row gap so i can mention it using the grid row gap so grid row gap i can give it as something around 30 pixel okay if you try to see grid row gap so now here you'll be able to see for each rows right now we are having only two rows in between these two rows you'll be able to see the gap now i want to give the gap between the columns also so the here the columns also if i want to give the gap means so i can do something like grid column gap column gap is equal to 30 pixel so now here i can give like this so now we are able to see the gap columns also the gap is 30 pixel now if you are having both the row gap and the column gap means so we have a shorthand method for this one so you can mention it using grid gap so grid gap so here you can give 30 pixel that's it so grid gap 30 pixel means so now you'll be able to see the same output but this time we have given used the shorthand thing so grid gap by using this grid gap we can apply it so this is all about this is this is how we will be designing a simple layout grid so we have designed the simple layout grid using the grid template rows grid template columns and also using the gutter space for the grid gap so this is how we will be creating the <coughs> simple grid layout structure so what we have did for the container we have mentioned this one as display grid and we have added the number of rows and each height so how much the row height should be we have given and the grid template columns how much width it should be so like this we have given it so this is all about the basic creation of the basic uh, grid layout structure hope you understood about this grid layout structure if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you